Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and uh, this is part 15 of Elastic Search. So in today's session, uh, I'll be talking about the tokenizer. So before proceeding to the session, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel. You can press the subscribe button. You can also press the bell icon to get the notification. So let's start. Let's get started. In today's session, uh, today's session is a pre uh, continuation uh, continuation of my previous sessions. So for the last two three session, I'm talking about the ana analyzer, and today I'll be covering the tokenizer part. So if you haven't watched my previous session, please go and watch. Uh, then only proceed with this session. Because in the previous session, I have explained you about the analyzer and tokenizer and difference between analyzer and tokenizer. So uh, in the analysis only, we have something called uh, analyzer and tokenizer. So let's get started. So tokenizer is basically it receives a steam, uh, you know, stream of character and breaks it up into individual tokens, uh, which uh, the definition part, which I've already explained you previously. So let's start with uh, the example of tokenizer. In tokenizer, we have three types like word tokenizer, partial word tokenizer, structured word tokenizer. So what is word tokenizer? Word tokenizer means you are breaking the uh, sentence into the tokens of words. Means wherever it founds a new word, it will break it over there. So this is what we call the word tokenizer. Partial word tokenizer means we have a word and it will it will break the word into the letters and it will tokenize the words into the letter. This is called partial word tokenizer. In the structured word tokenizer will uh, will tokenize the sentence, will break it up into uh, the patterns or the keywords. You are very much aware about the keywords. Keywords means it could be a complete sentence. Not, or, or, or a word, it depends on your body of the content. So uh, basically the tokenizer uh, is, uh, it, it works same as analyzer or I would simply say, let's go and check it out. So here I, I have, I have already written the code. So just to not, you know, waste your time. So here I have, I'm just comparing the analyzer part and tokenizer part and let's see how the result would be. So you can see in the analyzer also, we are getting this result, standard analyzer and standard tokenizer, we are getting the same result. So you must be thinking, then what's the difference between why we are using, if you are using analyzer, then why we are using a tokenizer? See guys, in the analyzer, in the analysis, if you remember my first session while I was uh, talking about the analyzer, uh, the flow, this flow, while, while I was explaining the analyzer part, I told you that the tokenizer part is only to break the words into token. It's not the part of analyzer, but some analyzer like the standard analyzer, simple analyzer, whatever I have covered in the previous session, in those analyzer, we have already some inbuilt functionality. Because of that inbuilt functionality, it is working same as this, uh, the, the tokenizer part. So what I'm saying in this analyzer, we have this tokenizer functionality inbuilt. So there is a question then why we are separating these things uh, you know separately we are talking about these things separately guys because uh, while we are writing some code uh, like we are customizing our analyzer while we are customizing our analyzer then if you remember our customized analyzer accepts three uh, three pa uh, three parameter that is character filter token filter and tokenizer but in the previous all analyzer it does not accept any parameter parameter in the sense uh, like whatever way i'm writing i'm using that analyzer into my bot uh, my this this part my mapping 
I am not defining anything. I am simply writing instead of my analyzer only standard analyzer. So that standard analyzer it itself contain that standard tokenizer functionality and X Y Z thing. But while I am making it as a custom analyzer, I have to give the name of some tokenizer because uh, because I have to. Uh, tokenize my body of uh, my body the content of body so that that's why we use the tokenizer over here so here I uh, hope I have explained you uh, the difference between tokenizer and analyzer and why we are separately dealing with the tokenizer part in this session if you have any doubt you can post your question in the comment section if you got, might have got confused with my explanation so you can post your question i will uh, surely answer those questions so the standard tokenizer lower case tokenizer white space tokenizer the functionality will be same as uh, you have seen in the analyzer part see uh, just change the standard and just write uh, white space or whatever you'll find the same space wherever it finds white space it will break it uh, into the token so hope this is clear so the main thing comes over here what is the ngram because we do not have uh, ngram or hgram in analyzer but we have these tokenizer in our tokenizer part so i'll be i'll basically focus on these two uh, and because these these things are similar as uh, I have already explained in my previous session of analyzer part. It will work same. It will work same similarly the same way. Uh, you can watch my previous video and you will get to know how these things work. And just uh, you can or you can simply do one thing. You can change the white space or write any analyzer. The, this analyzer and you will get the result the same way as I have explained you. A while I was explaining the analyzer part. Now let's come to this. What is ngram and hgram? Ngram means it's a partial word tokenizer. Partial means it will partially tokenize your word. Means it will take the letter by letter and it will tokenize into uh, you know different token. So ngram means uh, it depends on the number of uh, you know the minimum character or maximum character you want to tokenize here it is taking two characters as a minimum char uh, character or hgram hgram it start with something and end up with here like the q uh, q q u or q u i q u i c k means it will not break the letters into the into this uh, like words it will not break into the into the letter it will append uh, up, it will keep on appending the character uh, it will keep on appending the letters to this word so that's how it works so how i will write the ngram or token uh, ngram tokenizer and hgram tokenizer one more thing i would like to add so one more thing i would like to add in this is in the uh, tokenizer um the parameter these tokenizer accept is the max token max uh, no, max number of token so um, as i have uh, already taken a session on analyzer that the what is parameter what is configuration so if you have remember like instead of here I have already written one code of uh, ngram or hgram and uh, tokenizer here what I'm doing I'll, I just have to give the type of the tokenizer whether it's a standard uh, white space etc but uh, in the ngram and hgram tokenizer it accepts three parameter minimum min gram max gram and token filter in token filter token filter uh, if you remember i have taken this session on token filter and previously i have explained token filter means uh, a single so these are the actually parameter of uh, n gram so it can accept symbols any symbol letter digits etc what these uh, tokenizer accept except the white space on a lower case what other accepts are max token length this is what the parameter these uh, sorry these these uh, tokenizer accept only one parameter that is max token length 
uh, what is the maximum token length you want to tokenize your uh, words or a sentence so you can give it like what way how uh, you should give so instead of this like control x you can write the type of your tokenizer keyword uh, standard etc anything just give the parameter over here max token length max token length or uh, max token length etc anything right so like this way max token length chains ngram doesn't accept this okay not for ngram this is for uh, other one the standard lower case does not have any parameter so for lower case it is not valid for uh, uh, white space and, uh, and standard tokenizer you can use this uh, max token length you can give any token length it could be like um, five six whatever length you want to give you can give so this is all of about uh, this part the tokenizer for the word tokenizer and the parameter of the word tokenizer and you can use this tokenizer into your analyzer part because it's a custom analyzer we have to use this tokenizer into analyzer because in the custom analyzer it accepts the parameter of tokenizer as well so this is how it works now for ngram we have these following three parameter minimum gram maximum gram token character means uh, token character it could be a letter it could be a digit or you can give symbol symbol uh, why uh, what is this what why i am giving uh, here i'll just sh uh, show you with a simple example over here okay now let's uh, firstly create this uh, tokenizer i have already created before now i'll delete and i'll create again so this except minimum character minimum gram three let's make it as one and this one as two let's make this two and run it again okay now check this out so minimum one it accept a digit yes it is accepting a digit it is accepting words but it is not accept accepting symbols so uh, why we are doing this first of all why we are tokenizing everything what is the requirement so here we have i have the example suppose in the search box this is basically we use for searching and searching purpose and filtering purpose hope you know all this so now suppose in the search box i am writing a single word uh, but this search box what uh, hey just don't go through this thing please I'm just, just taking this simple example of this search box I don't have to care about the jQuery part no I just wanted to give you a demo so that's why I op opened this now I'm writing with one uh, with one letter it is not searching with two letter yeah it is working so what it is working with US wherever it finds US anywhere anywhere it finds us it will give me uh, it will fetch me that those uh, result fine okay so here my tokenizer my minimum tokenizer in this case is two but in my case what i have made it as a uh, one right over here so i can give from where my uh, you know uh, the searching the searching should start while i'm searching from where the token uh, the suggestion should come I can give I can handle it over here the minimum length the maximum length so always try to keep the minimum difference between the min and max gram okay now the next thing comes it is not uh, you know it is filtering out my symbol so for symbol you can just simply write the symbol symbol so that it should take the symbol part as well now just check this out and let's make this one two now see 23 33 33 dollar 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 now it's taking the symbol as well with maximum token it is creating two minimum is two this is how it works and it is uh, you know basically it is used like this scenario i have just shown you
like this in that case uh, this is how it works and ngram hgram works in the same way the hgram simply the difference between these two is it will break the word into the letters but uh, the hgram will not break it will append the uh, it will append this letters okay i'll just show this delete it sorry 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 so what mistake i have done if it's not like only h it will be like h and gram so now it will be working hopefully yes mm, yes it is working now see the difference between those here we have 23 dollar dollar q u y c i have defined my max length to be 2 right so maximum it could append is 2 so that's why wherever it is finding the space it is break, breaking those into token here with uh, with this this symbol i don't have two number minimum i don't have two number with this percentage so it will neglect this now it will come over here now it is saying it will just just take simply take this two and it will go further and it is taking this two and it will go further and take this two now let's change it out this is the worst way to do the edge gram thing okay why because we should not keep the minimum difference while we are doing the edge gram part see because we sh we can give the minimum gram it could be one or two but we if we are giving it similar uh, you know same or very less difference between these two then see how i am getting the result it 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 will not be able to find out uh, my complete word my complete keywords if i am searching er it will not be able to find out okay or uh, okay so that's it will not work the edge crumb will not work so simply i have to give just maximum to be 10 just give like this way and just see the result it would be much you know better you will get a much better token than that one so 2 2 3 2 3 3 dollar uh this one this one again it's appending appended q it's appended so that's how i wanted it to be so that's all uh, for today's session hope you like the session if you have any doubt you can post your question in the comment section hope i have made you clear between the ngram and hgram so basically guys it depends on your requirement the how the way you want to search suppose if you don't want to search like this way in between you want to search with whenever i write ge germany i should get the result starting with ge not in between so this is the example of here i got the example of ngram this is not example of hgram so if the, your requirement is uh, the whatever way i'm if i'm writing it it should start with ge and then it should append with my searching part then i can use hgram so it depends on you it depends on your requirement what should you should uh, like what which uh, tokenizer you should follow so that's all for today's session and these these part also i have just already told you it's everything is same as the analyzer you just go and watch the analyzer part it will be it will give me the result same way as it is the only the difference in the tokenizer part these two part was only these two because these two things were not there in my um, an analyzer part so uh, basically we are going to use all this tokenizer while we are writing a custom tokenizer custom in the, this is the example of custom tokenizer uh, custom analyzer sorry uh, sorry for that so cost because in the custom analyzer only we can use the tokenizer and you know custom tokenizer we can write so that's all for today's session hope you like the session if uh, you like the session please press thumbs up and also please uh, you can post your questions or your doubt in my in the comment section on on if you have any queries on elastic search i can i'll try to make videos on your queries so thank you for watching guys